Small bathroom makeovers are a great way to upgrade your home and save a bit of money by doing it yourself. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some quick tips on how to install towel bars so that they never <laughs> pull out of the wall again. And they're super solid for years and years and years. So we're gonna show you how to install these ones here. They're pretty awesome. They're by American Standard. They're called uh, the Green Tea Towel Bars. We'll show you the installation and I'll give you those tips right now. Here's my number one tip for you when it comes to mounting towel bars and toilet paper holders to drywall or plaster. Find a stud or if you have the walls open, add wood blocking in the stud wall where you want the towel bar or the toilet paper holder to go. So one of the best places to start on a wall where you're gonna put your towel bar, if you have a GFCI, is to start right there. So in a bathroom, you're gonna ha you should have a GFCI on the wall. And most likely, this is going to be mounted, the electrical box is gonna be mounted to a stud. Take your stud finder, place it on the wall, and sure enough, right here is where a stud is located. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna work our way over and try to find the next one. Now here's the deal with this old bathroom. This wall is so wonky that the studs are not facing like they typically would in a newer home. So you, the stud is a two by four, but really, it's three and a half inches by one and a half inches. And the one and a half inch part of that stud is facing you. But in this wall, the studs are flipped and the three and a half inch portion of the stud is actually facing outward. So these are 18 inch towel bars. And that kind of is a good thing for your towels, but it's not a great thing for stud walls because if I place this on the wall on a stud, it's gonna be on one stud and then it's gonna span over the 16 inches and be in the dead space or just drywall. But in this case, I'm lucky because this wonky wall actually helped me out. So I'm gonna place the center of the right side of the towel bar on the stud. Then we're gonna find the other stud over here and we're gonna place the towel bar there. So both sides of this towel bar are gonna be anchored in a stud or on wood, and that's a great thing. Once you find your stud, the next thing you should do is grab a level. This is just a, a two foot level, this is by Empire. And the nice thing is, what you can do is just line it up where you want your, the right hand side, in this case, of that towel bar to be, and make sure that your level is absolutely level, and then, place a mark where the next stud is located. So now you have a reference line to make sure that that towel bar is absolutely level um, because you don't want the towel bar to be sloped like this. It just isn't gonna look good. So definitely just go out and buy yourself a, a two foot level and do this. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm placing this towel bar at 43 inches up off the finished floor. It's a comfortable height. And the reason why I have to do that is so that we can be a few inches below the wall plate for the GFCI here. These are the towel bars that I'm mounting. They're made by American Standard. They're called uh, the Green Tea Towel Bars. But nonetheless, they come with these mounting brackets that are embedded via a set screw. So you just take an Allen wrench, you loosen the set screw, and you pull the mounting bracket out from the towel bar. So these are pretty great because they have four different screw holes in them. So what I'm gonna actually do is center this using the top screw hole. This mark on the wall here represents where this bracket needs to go. It also represents where the stud is located. I'm going to use one and a half inch wood screws because we're gonna be placing this right into a wood stud. The only thing that's a little bit tricky with this particular bracket is the shape. So we definitely wanna make sure that it's nice and level before we mount it into the wall with the other screw. In this particular instance, I'm placing my tape measure on the center hole here in the center of the bracket and measuring over 18 inches. This will give me the center of the next bracket. I also measured 43 inches up off the floor. Now, that only works if your floor is absolutely level. So make sure you double check this mark with a level. And there you go, it actually is pretty level, and that's good. So what we're gonna do is place another screw 
in the top hole of this mounting bracket. At this point, it's a good idea to dry fit your towel bar on the brackets. It looks good. So the next step is to just add, in this case, two more screws to each bracket. Okay, then you just slide the towel bar onto the brackets. And then tighten them using the Allen wrench. Now because this is a small bathroom makeover, I had to stack the second towel bar above the first towel bar, uh, primarily because I wanted this to be on a stud, but also we just kind of ran out of space on this wall here. Now the top of the towel bar, the second one, is in line with the wall plate for the GFCI. I did that on purpose because I just thought it would look better. All right, so now it's time to install the toilet paper holder. One of the biggest tips that I have for you, and I mentioned this at the beginning, is to put a 2x6 or 2x8, 2x10 in the wall if you are redoing the drywall in the bathroom so that that toilet paper holder has something to anchor into. Obviously, it's being used a lot, <laughs> most likely, and it's going to take some wear and tear, and so it'll become loose over time if it's just anchored into the plaster or the drywall. And I totally understand if you can't put 2 by material on the wall, but that is the best practice if you're redoing the entire bathroom. If you didn't put any 2 by material in the wall, you can always just, again, double check where that stud is, and, and it's right here. There's one right here. So technically, what I could do is just put the toilet paper holder right here centered on this stud, but I know that if I come up here, I have a big piece of two by 10 in the wall. So, you know, I can actually mount the toilet paper holder right here and I should be good to go. And that's a, that's a comfortable location for this toilet. Now, when it comes to toilet paper holders, I like the type whereby you can just slide the toilet paper on it. So for example, just like that, you're good to go. And the, and the reason why is, for whatever reason, I don't know why, people find it hard to put the toilet paper holder together. And so just having something like this that's quick and easy. So again, this is the Green Tea Toilet Paper Holder by American Standard. And it's pretty nice because uh, it matches the towel bars over there. So always try to match your towel bars with the toilet paper holder. Now that I think about it, I probably am going to mount this right off the stud because if I put it right here, somebody can bump right into it. So moving it farther back is most likely a better option for me uh, because this is a very, very tight bathroom. In terms of the height of the toilet paper holder here, I'm just going to mount it at about 28 inches. We found the center of the stud here indicated by the middle light. And I'm just going to make a pencil mark there at the 28 inch mark. Uh, yeah, I admit that's a little overkill for a, a toilet paper holder, but eh. There you go, that's a solid toilet paper holder right there. The tips in today's tutorial will definitely help you out with your small bathroom makeover. Now, if you want additional tips and tricks, head on over to homerepairtutor.com and grab my free 10 day guide to a bathroom makeover. It's awesome. It shows you exactly what you need to do on day one through 10 of a bathroom makeover. So you stay on track and also stay on budget because we have budget worksheets within that guide and they're really, really helpful. So I encourage you to check that out over on homerepairtutor.com. That's it for today. Let me know what your questions are down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.